This local sports report is presented by the Fence and Deck Experts, a proud supporter of the Wilmot Wild. Check out the Fence and Deck Experts for professional work and quality service. They make your backyard an extension of your living space, installing custom decks with pressure-treated or composite wood with a glass railing. They also offer a variety of fence options, from wood to vinyl to chain link. Call now to get a quote at 519-804-3325. That's 519-804-DECK. It's the opening round of the Ontario Junior C Lacrosse Playoffs. The Wilmont Wild playing host to the Barry Bombers. This is game one in a best of five series on Tuesday night. First period, the Wild on the attack. Chase Forsyth over to Kyler Morgan. Kyler lets it go and he finds the back of the net, giving Wilmot the opener. Then moments later, here's Eric Snyder for the Wild. He steps into a low shot and he's got another for Wilmot. And the Wild keep coming. Eric Snyder again here on the power play. He fires and it's turned away, but the rebound is finished off by EJ Kelleher. So the Wild are out to a quick 3-0 lead in this one. The Bombers back the other way. Here's Luke Wensing on the top of the circle. He shoots and scores, cutting the Wild's lead to two, heading into the second. In the second now, Barry power play. Luke Wensing feeds Carter Barry out front, and Carter brings the Bombers within one. Then here's Cameron McKinnon. He finds a long pass to Miles Shorey on the run. Miles converts on the chance, and the Bombers tie the game up at three. Moments later, Jackson Andrews with possession for the Bombers. He fights his way to the middle and fires, and Barry have their first lead of the game. And Barry wouldn't stop there. Miles Shorey on the power play fires a bullet and finds the goal mesh, bringing the score to 5 to 3 Barry. Still in the second, Jackson Andrews outmuscles the wild defense and wins the battle for Ty Burke. Ty charges the net and dunks it in. That's six unanswered goals for the Bombers, and they're up by three. The Wild not down and out yet, however. Everett Herder lays out Luke Wensing in the neutral zone, and the ball pops out to Landon Crisco. Landon picks it up with speed, and he's alone out front, and Landon stems the bleeding, cutting the Barry lead to two. Headed to the third now, EJ Kelleher trying to find a way to the net. He cuts to the middle and blasts it in, bringing the Wild within one. Moments later, Clay O'Keefe sneaks inside and brings home the equalizer, tying us up at six. Then, later in the frame, here's Dylan Kuntz outpacing the Barry defense and coming in on net. He finds a hole, and the Wild are back on top. Barry back the other way, now on the power play. Cody Callow walks in and fires low, and Cody brings us back to even. A nice conversion with the man advantage, but the Wild would get their own chance on the power play. Eric Snyder putting his whole body into a shot, and he's got the go-ahead goal, bringing the score to 8-7 Wild. And the Wild would keep the pressure up. Only seconds later, EJ Kelleher with the ball in the corner. He finds Ethan Warden charging the net, and Ethan brings it home, so it's 9-7 Wild with 4 minutes left. And only a minute later, Clay O'Keefe finds an inside pass to Kyler Morgan. Kyler cuts in and puts away the dagger. So game one of the playoffs proving to be a game of momentum, as both teams had their moments, but in the end, the Wilmot Wild showing off their third period clutch comeback potential, win this one, taking down the Barry Bombers by a final score of 10-7. to For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.